for a period of six months. Uh, but this is not the entire money. Uh, no, that's in, uh, just one part. This is the, uh, you know, specifically for this program. Give, give me a headline figure. 10, 15, 20 million dollars? Well, it's hard to put. When you think about all the initiatives I just talked about, yes. training 10 million people, and, yes. um, you know, this is classroom training as well as um, online training. Mm. Um, there's, uh, you know, the, the various initiatives I've, I've talked about. Um, we've really just been investing in the market for the long haul. We've taken a long-term um, commitment to Africa and a long-term strategic view of our business here. How much does that long-term commitment cost? How much will it cost Google in Silicon Valley? $100 million? Oh, I can't give you a figure. <laughs> well, you don't have the figure. Uh, I, yes, I can calculate yeah. the figure. Okay. But uh, I it's, think, it's, I think it's beyond that... It's good to have an idea. Yeah, but I think beyond that, the reason why we're not in a hurry, I mean, you can, you can imagine it, it runs into a lot, but the reason mm. why we're not usually in a hurry to just talk about figures is because then the focus is on the figure. But we think beyond that, when we think about the ripple effect of these, imagine the ripple effect of training 10 million people. We've had some success stories of people learning completely new trades. So for example, there is a Nigerian who couldn't afford to further his education, got introduced to the internet and realized that he could watch how-to videos online. So he had a passion for videography, self-taught just by watching how-to videos. He learned how to operate a camera, how to take great photographs. He learned about videography. Now he runs a successful, a successful videography business. Now my cameramen here are getting envious. <laughs> uh, we've got to include them. Because I don't know how you agree with 12 startups. And I think these folks behind the cameras here in the studios were thinking, why don't you make them part of it? Part of what? Part of this program. Is that a website? Is that this gentleman who just went to a website yeah, and just so to find out if I would be the first to just get that on now? While absolutely. I'm here. So it's um, www.udacity.com slash Google hyphen Africa hyphen scholarships. And um, we will be sending our call for applications towards the end of the year as well. We're going to be running different cycles. We've just started with the first batch. So, so, so this scholarship, uh, when I go on this website that I'm looking at on, on my TV screen uh, right now, uh, what do I find? Two things. So you find uh, a lot of information. Um, you find uh, uh, information on how to contact us and get more. You find information on how to apply for the scholarship. Remember I mentioned that as part of our commitment to train 100,000 developers, we're starting with a batch of 15,000 that we're offering scholarships to. So we welcome everyone who's aspiring or currently a developer to go to the website and apply for the scholarship. If I get a scholarship, and I've got to ask my bosses upstairs first if, I, if I'll be allowed to go. But again, where will I go? Silicon Valley? So the scholarship is training. That's just um, uh, focusing on beginner and intermediate courses that can just uh, help to raise the level of employability within our developers. So it's pure training. There are no trips attached to it. Uh, it uh, is just okay. rigorous training to just really... O online. Online. Those things you do midnight and all of that uh, it takes time. But yes, it's a combination of online and offline. It's, it's, it's rigorous. Yes. And if it's Google, it's got to be rigorous because uh, uh, that, uh, 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 that's going to take some time. Uh, but again, why is Africa important to Google? Yes, so Google is very committed to Africa. And um, I mentioned that we're here for, for the long haul. We've uh, taken a long-term view of our business, and we've been investing in different parts of, uh, of the ecosystem to just try and energize the level of digital participation. Now, Africa as a continent uh, is a region of 1.2 billion people. That's a huge population. And if we think about you know, the growth of the Internet and the Internet of the future, a lot of the new users coming online will be coming from Africa, right? We represent a huge percentage of the opportunity that's on the table around you know, bringing users online. And we believe that there's a lot of talent on the continent. There's a lot of human power. And if people can just get the right uh, skill set, get the right tools, they'll do great things. And so we're betting on the continent in this way. And we're already seeing some of those success stories emerging uh, of people just creating amazing solutions with the tools that um, they have access to. When you look at the hubs that are coming up in Nigeria, and I'm sure Google has its fingerprints uh, all over these folks, what do you see in terms of outlook uh, for Nigeria here? Oh, I think it's a very exciting time from a technology perspective. We've seen a growth in te technology entrepreneurship. We've seen some very exciting solutions coming up, solutions to local problems. We've seen apps coming up addressing local issues. And that's really great in terms of just helping to increase the level of engagement online. Because um, if I can get um, uh, tools and apps and solutions that are relevant to me, then I'm likely to engage more.
And so we're very optimistic about the opportunities that exist here. Uh, we've seen content creators coming online and just really being able to share their content with the rest of the world in a great way. Um, industries like Nollywood, <laughs> which is our <laughs> the second largest in the world in terms of uh, video output, mm. uh, we're seeing a lot of a new generation of entrepreneurs that are basing their business models around putting Nollywood content on YouTube and monetizing that content by attracting viewers from around the world. Again, we keep talking about diversifying the economy. I th we think that technology can play a really big role because with the example I just gave, imagine content creators being able to share their content with the rest of the world and monetize that content. All of a sudden, you're creating exports, cultural exports, and you're importing foreign, foreign exchange because they're monetizing this traffic. So technology, we think, is a bedrock for uh, transformational development, and it's great to see a lot more activity within the uh, technology space in Nigeria. You're a Nigerian, and I'm sure uh, uh, you would want to see a few things happen. So with what Google is doing in Nigeria, in what sectors uh, of our life or industries would you like to see uh, using Google as a game changer here? Is it in transportation? Is it in logistics? Is it in tourism? Is it in fintech? Or in manufacturing? Yeah. The great thing about technology is that it can create transformative impact in any field. If I just start with the startups that are participating in the Google Africa Accelerator program, um, we've got about five different industries covered with this set of startups. You've got um, solutions around agriculture. So, for example, there's a, there's a business that is focused on crowdsourcing funds for farmers. There's another one that is focused on um, connecting livestock farmers with buyers and sellers, right? So that's agriculture, and we know that that's a sector that we're looking to develop I, in I this like country. That. I like that. In the words of, uh, in the well. words of AFDB President Akimbe Adesina, that's making agriculture sexy. You talk about some emails earlier. I'll try to get those emails. There's sure. just a few emails that are attached to this. Thank you very much, uh, Juliet, from from coming. Uh, you got the other two names. Very difficult. I'm going to get a uh, Himo and Chiazo. Correct. Thank Perfect. You. Do have a great day. Thank and you. whatever we've just said, you can Google that up on channelstelevision.com. That's the home for business and for news. We'll be right back after the break. You're watching Business Morning.